All right, folks, welcome back. Today we got a bunch of stuff to do. We got pawn shops, we got thrift stores, always looking for golf clubs, but never know what you're gonna find, so. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. Also, we're getting super close to 150,000 subscribers. <laughs> thank so, you guys. Uh, yes, thank you guys for that. Stay tuned. We're gonna have a big special and giveaway. We're getting things started off here at a fancy Goodwill. Whoa, check this out. It is a literal fender in a Goodwill. Oh no, it's a fender flare. Oh, it's like, uh, what was that movie with uh, Jennifer Aniston that uh, you had to have enough flair? Office space. Office space, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Your car will have enough flair. No one knows what we're talking about. We haven't even made it back to the golf clubs. We already found some brand new Nike Vapor golf shoes to see if there's uh, anything worth picking up. In terms of the golf clubs, looks like we have a couple of junior clubs in there. Usually we'll pick those up and give them away for free when we set up and sell at the flea market. What else do we got? This Callaway bag is sick. Mm -hmm. Hawkeye VFT. What else we got over here? Oil our tri-metal oh, head cover. Oh, that's that. why I bet. Oh, got some Nerf guns. Nerf too. guns as well. We got a Ping ISI knockoff. Oil our tri-metal to go with the uh, head cover. Old school tailor-made Pittsburgh persimmon. We got a Wilson Staff 2 wood. What is that? It's like one of those old school uh, Wilson putters that came with the... Uh, I had a yeah. Michael Jordan starter set and it came with a putter almost exactly <laughs> like that. That's awesome. All right, I think we're going to pass on the Nerf guns, yeah. the Fender, but we aren't going to pass up on the uh, golf shoes. No. Dang, there are a million people in there. I didn't even get a chance to uh, tell you what we paid for them. $19, they still got the packaging in there and they are my size, so I can't beat that. Nope. Well, I don't really know if we can beat it. We got more stops to go, so. Hopefully we can. Hopefully we can beat it. We'll meet you to the next spot. Oh, that's something you don't see every day at a pawn shop, a Harley. That's crazy. See if they've got uh, just as good at golf clubs. The uh, saddle on that? Yeah, that's really ah, cool. Really cool. Oh no, they got rid of all the golf clubs. Oh no, they're over here. They used to have like two or three hundred golf clubs in here. Also, they are uh, testing out the speakers in here. Surround sound works. Surround sound works. I think they're playing the Avengers uh, movie. Oh, we got an FG Tour V6. If they have a full set of that, that is going to be a definite pickup. Got an Adams Tight Lights Tour 14.5. This is one of the last ones that Adams made before they got bought out by TaylorMade. Actually, this might be after they got bought out by TaylorMade. It has that, um, I forget what they call it, like a rebound sound slot or something like that on top. <laughs> what else we got over here? It's like a full set of these uh, Hyper X Callaway Woods going for $149.99 each. Got a Hyper X Driver, Strong Lofted 3 wood, 5 wood, and then it's also a uh, Callaway Regular X Series 5 wood. Uh, and I think there's a seven wood in there as well. The music is super loud. How did they make a dent there? A giant dent in the uh, Hippo Giant. <laughs> also, it's kind of funny. The uh, Hippo Giant is only 400 cc. Yes. Now that would be considered uh, tiny in modern days. What do we got over here? I don't even know what that. What does that say? Dynamically balanced putter. Yeah, I thought these were pings at first, but they are. Yeah, not. ping I or it's like a ping Carson one uh, knockoff. Mm -hmm. Got a left-handed. I think this is the RBZ Black. Yeah. How much is that going for? Those actually held their value really well. Uh, price no price on that. We always have a knack of uh, picking those ones out. Yeah, especially you. Strata. Uh, well, we'll let you know if we find anything else. We got music, we got uh, speakers getting tested. This Maxfly bag is awesome. We just found that one uh, demo one. Oh man, that thing is almost as cool as the one that we got. We had like the big demo one, had Malpy, tons of cool uh, signage or like, what are they called? Gadgets. Gadgets, yeah, on the swords. side of it. <laughs> yeah. What else? Let's see if this is getting sold by itself. $49.99 on that. Probably see what we can do on this uh, Adams. $49.99 on that one. This we'll be able to negotiate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do our old trick. I'm not really interested in that one, but how much can you do on that one? Uh, do you know what the best you can do on that one? And then that one didn't have a price on it. If you can do both for 50, I'd be uh, a buyer. 5324. Well, that was way easier than I thought. We went up there. This one didn't have a price on it. And I asked if he could do 50 for both. And he could. And he could. $53 total. The RBZ Black goes for that just by itself. And then we'll get to mess around with the uh, Adam Tight Lights Tour 14.5. There are so many sounds going on today. Yes, I can't yes. keep up with it. But uh, we'll meet you at the uh, next spot. Check this place out. Thrift Mart. It's in like an old hardware store. Almost looks like a Menards. It's got me a little nostalgic. I, know, for I miss Menards. Menards is the best. Comment below if you like Menards better than Home Depot and Lowe's combined. But uh, let's see if they got any golf clubs in here for us. This place is huge. Oh, tons of golf clubs in here. Also, check this out. World's smallest golf bag. Oh, it's a U.S. Kids bag for eight bucks. That thing is awesome. We were actually in Pinehurst when they were having the U.S. Kids uh, championship. Mm -hmm. They were those better than me. <laughs> yeah, those kids are so yes. good. They were on that uh, practice green, and they were, like, nailing, like, 100-foot putts. Yeah. If you've ever been there, that putting green is intense. Yes. Almost as intense as this. New with tags. New with tags. Christmas in July. Yeah, Christmas in July. 
I don't know if I could pull that off. I don't know if it'll look good on me, but we're going to try it. Bucks is worth it. Yeah, stay tuned and subscribe for the next five months and maybe I'll yes. uh, wear that one. <laughs> Let's see if they got any golf clubs for us. Uh, got a pro junior, bunch of uh, junior clubs today. Karsten one knockoff. Another U.S. kids club down here. Got Northwestern. What else? Oh, these are some uh, Wilson Staff Dyna Powers. They got the uh, fluid field bore through insert. Oh, that's cool. Those things are all, oh, I think it might be a full set of these. Oh, nice. I got some over here. Too. Yeah, they're only two bucks a piece. Oh, you got some? Yeah. Uh, seven iron. Oh, no, that's a different one. That one's a. Uh, oh, sorry. It's got basically me. the exact yeah, same thing. We got four, five, six, seven. You have a full set of those. Those will just be fun to uh, hit. They're only $2 yeah. a piece. They're not worth much, but check out how squared off this toe is. Mm -hmm. That is. That is very intense. The old Wilson de designs so are so cool. Yeah, the Wilson designed the blades. They have such a good feel to them. I played the Wilson FG62. It's not that old. This came out like mid 2000s. Oh, they got the original grips and the original shaft on there. Cool. That would just be fun to uh, try out. Yeah. You can laugh at us when we try and hit some uh, old school blades. Yes. <laughs> or you can laugh at me if I try on that uh, shirt. I think it's cool. Either way, stay tuned. Yes. <laughs> well, this place has a ton of vacuum cleaners. There's like 10 on the other side, almost as many vacuum cleaners as there are golf clubs in here. Let's see if there's anything worth picking up. We got some uh, pogo sticks too. His and hers. His and hers. We can both break our necks on <laughs> that. You. We got a set of uh, Callaway X20 tours, four iron all the way down to oh, the pit. Oh, three iron all the way down to the pitching wedge. We got a Cleveland CG10. And then underneath that beautiful head cover, we've got a uh, Cleveland CG12. Mm -hmm. The uh, CG line, they're super, super soft uh, metal. So they wear down really quickly, but they are really soft. So if you find them in good condition, definitely pick them up. You won't get like a ton of uh, use out of them because like I said, they wear down pretty quickly, good. but they are very good. We got a, a Cleveland Halo 16 degree hybrid. Whenever you find the low lofted of that one or basically any other hybrid, they'll tend to go for a little bit more money than their higher lofted counterparts. 600, 600 on that. Bag's in pretty good condition. Let's see what else they got. I have no idea what these are. Uh, IHS hybrid iron set. Oh, we got some classics right here. Titleist uh, Pro Trajectory 975F. Another classic over here. Steelhead X14s. I think this is the Callaway Big Bertha 454. 79.99 on that one. It's not bad deal. Take you like 10 years to get all that plastic off. <laughs> Let's see, I think this this was in here last time. The Callaway XR Speed. There's a dent on it. We almost got them down to like 100 yes. bucks, but there was a dent somewhere on it still in here i'm, I'm sure the i'm sure there's still there. <laughs> the dent is still there too what else do we got we got some uh, king cobra irons old school king cobra three wood oh check that out speaking of uh, old school that ping bag and the hogan forged edge one i think this was missing one of the uh, irons else we would have picked it up last time yeah. it's only 75 dollars if i remember correctly you got the uh, nike vape these are the left-handed set that they had last time mm -hmm. with a uh, odyssey white hot number one callaway rogue hybrid and then this uh driver this is like a, a long drive driver there's not even a single uh, groove on there that's crazy we I think got it's like 500 for the whole 500 for the really whole nice set too. yeah that's actually a pretty good uh, deal the uh, nike vapor fly uh, three woods go for a lot when they are left-handed. Well, in general, but the left-handed ones go for a little bit more. Oh yeah, I think this is the MOD 30. These ones are actually kind of hard to find. This almost looks like a ping zing because it has like a lot of, um, I don't know, like bend or something like that. It's mm -hmm. not like straight. And it has like the no insert one. It's like milled in there. $129. These usually go for like 179 to 200 yeah. last time that I looked. Needs a new grip on there. Maybe we can work a little deal on uh, that one. We got a uh, tailor made. Oh, look at this. We got it. I think, yeah, this is a uh, Ping G410 just sitting in a pawn shop. How crazy is that? Oh, no, I got a caught of this. Oh, oh right, it's not coming out. Oh, no, we have to move this one. T work. There we go. Oh, no, oh, there we go. Yep. There you go. They didn't want that one to fall for sure. No. I don't blame them on that. How much is that going for? Yeah. 170? 130. 130. That's a pretty dang good deal. Yeah. I think the uh, magic number in here is 130. There you go. Also, they're testing speakers. There's like two dueling against each other. The base works. On yeah, the base sure. works for one of them. But also, it's like confusing the heck out of me because there's two songs going in my head at once. So we're trying to go through a bunch of uh, golf clubs. Go through the uh, hoverboards. Maybe that'll be make. Oh, they got skis in Florida. That's a hot seller. All right, folks, made it out to the golf course. Excited to try everything out. That was a... I was not expecting that good of a deal. Yeah, we literally just went up there. The negotiation was right by the uh, speaker, so we can't really... Yeah, show that yeah. but uh, we went up there and asked what the best they could do and i was thinking like 200 yeah, yeah. 200 would uh, be a, a good deal 160 dollars check that door. out That's 100 crazy. that is insane but uh, we're out here at the golf course we're gonna play a little three hole scramble actually a three hole uh, alternate shot yeah switch, we can, yeah switch it up if we can't shoot uh, bogey golf or better we'll get ourselves a little treat first hole is about 260 yards i'm gonna go with the uh, adams tight lies tour Oh, 
Nice job. Oh man, my love affair with Adams continues. That was a nerve wracking shot. There's like three groups waiting on the uh, first hole. So lots of uh, spectators, not to mention uh, you guys, but did not disappoint. Right short of the green, Ashley should, oh, we don't have a uh, wedge. You have to go with the uh, nine iron of the uh, fluid field. Get you uh, prepared for your next shot. There your you hole go. in one hole. Yes, of course. There you go. Also, we're uh, sporting the uh, wireless mics today. Let us know if you guys like this. You can actually hear me, potentially. Yeah, you won't miss all of uh, Ashley's dad jokes. <laughs> Ashley opting for the Texas wedge, probably a uh, bold play or when safe in doubt, play. Put it out. Yeah. What did uh, Arnold Palmer say? If you you can only win if you play boldly. That was a butchering <laughs> of that uh, quote. <laughs> yes. This putter looks so nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, it feels so good too. Sounds nice as well. Yeah. Tap in from there. Still not gonna make a putt. Nothing new here. <laughs> Boom. Boop. Well, kind of squandered an opportunity there. Should have left John a little bit closer, but the next hole is the hole in one hole. I actually haven't gotten that close, but John likes to think it, it's possible. So hopefully I can prove him right. I have also faith in you. Also just dropped my golf ball. There we go. You there can't we go. do it without a golf ball. <laughs> nope. Oh, this might actually be a hole in one. Oh, come on, be good. Oh, what a shot. Sit, 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 sit. sit. I think that just stayed on the uh, back of the grade. Also, this is so intimidating to look over. Yeah. Like, Please just hit the butter knife. <laughs> well, I have no idea what it is about blades. Somehow I hit them well. We go around trying to find me the most forgiving clubs, and somehow when I hit blades, I think it's just like the opposite game. I'm like, there's no way I'm going to be able to hit this well, so I'm just going to like not think about anything. So maybe I should actually use that principle with the forgiving clubs. They're easier Golf. to align because they have like a square toe. Yeah, I don't know. That's always how I thought it was. Uh, it works. I'm on the green. I'm happy. Alignment is like 99% of your game. If you're aligned wrong, yeah, then you ain't you're gonna doomed. hit it good. Even if you hit it good, you ain't gonna hit it where you're going. Golfisms by John. Yeah. Stay tuned for more. That was like a Yogi Bearism. <laughs> you think people are tired of listening to us yet? Probably. Probably. The new golf course is coming, or the redesign looks like it's going pretty good though. Yeah, it is. I'm doomed. I took a practice joke. I never do that anymore. Oh no. Well, that's short. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Oh, that's tappable from there. This thing feels so good though. I wonder, oh yeah, there is it's like a polymer insert in there. Huh. It's like milled in and then like underneath, like below the surface level, Whoa. there's a little polymer. How'd they do that? I don't know. Fancy. Boom, world's greatest putter. I don't even know why we film the tap-ins anymore. <laughs> All right, we're gonna switch up the order on you. Ashley wants to hit the pink G410 and I want to hit the Wilson iron so it'll work out perfectly on this hole. Mm -hmm. Plus if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. That's a good one. I think that's a that's a NASCAR saying, yes, right? Yes, it is. I think so. There's a lot of cheating in NASCAR. Lots of cheating in everything, <laughs> yes. but NASCAR is kind of a note for that. Mainly we just want to try out different clubs. That's yeah. all there is to it. Not really cheating. It actually makes the hole harder, but yes. we'll see what we can do here. Hopefully I leave myself, or you leave me. We leave ourselves with Ooh. a iron. We can do it. We can do it, man. <laughs> oh, that Ooh. was crushed, but that's... Into the woods. Do you get a member's bounce where you can't be members? I... We'll find out. I'm sorry about that one. That's We're gonna test bad. the workability of the uh, blades. <laughs> I think I should have choked up a little bit. Well, I absolutely crushed that club. Unfortunately, it's in the wrong direction, but if we ever find a ladies version of that or a lady shaft, I might be a buyer. Well, actually a user, but nothing new here. I left John in the woods, but luckily he's got some blades to get himself out. So wish him luck. I got a little bit of grass here. You're welcome. <laughs> Just gotta thread the needle too. Whoa. Whoa. This looks fun. <laughs> Glad I'm not doing it, sorry. Low hooker, we're good to go. Oh man, that thing went so high. Sit, sit. Oh, it's got some roll too. Wow, these nice. things launch so high. I was expecting that to get like a foot off the ground. It oh, took yeah. a five iron. That thing just launched And it super... just like went straight through the trees. Yeah. Your theory of trees are 90% air, accurate. Yeah, I, I've been uh, in tournaments and tried to prove that theory. It didn't work. <laughs> Ooh, what lives under here? Um. Well, currently a little lizard, it's all him. Yeah, I don't want to know what lives under there. Goodbye, whoever you are. Well, it's not really the perfect test to hit off of uh, whatever that is, uh, mulch, but it felt unbelievably good and launched super high, so. I left you with a little bit of grass. Yeah, a little bit of grass. <laughs> it was actually kind of annoying because the, glass, uh, the grass blades would move and it kind of looked like the ball was moving. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Oh, well, not your fault. Well, kind of your fault. It's kind of my fault. <laughs> <laughs> but you going with Texas Wedge here again? Ah. Uh... I still think that's probably our best bet. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, go, 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 go,
Well, we took the big number out of a picture, although I've three-putted this green actually the last time I played here. Yeah, I just didn't feel comfortable with the nine iron. Nine yeah. iron blade, too. It's like uphill, downhill, breaking both ways. No wonder I three-putted it the last time we played here. Yeah, these greens are really hard to read. I don't think you can see it on camera, but it's, it's tricky. Left edge. Left edge it is. Ooh, a little bit outside left. That was a good putt for me. I yes, like this it was. putter. Perfect base. Yeah, it's got like a super solid like feel to it, but also soft with that little bit of Palmer. It puts a good roll on it. Perfect combo. Yeah. Again, another tap. Comment below if you love it when people film tappings. <laughs> Somehow I get the most nervous over the tap. <laughs> yeah, it's like a 15 footer for par straight downhill. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Ah, the treat of the day. Actually, two treats in this video. Yesterday, we went to uh, Cowfish and tried to film, but it was way too loud, yeah. but the food was delicious. That was so good. It was like yeah. unexpected good. It's like a burger and sushi fusion. Which doesn't sound good. Fusion? Fusion, fusion place. <laughs> it's very confusing to be. Yes, but uh, today's treat, the good old standard Mickey. Mm -hmm. Light ice cream. Light ice cream. Also, this thing terrified me as a kid because I thought I was like biting into Mickey's head. I just bit Mickey's ear though. You just bit Mickey's ear off. <laughs> but uh, lots of uh, good stuff today. We got the uh, Wilson irons, which were super fun to hit. Way higher ball flight than I thought. We got the Adams Tight Lies Tour, which came in clutch with that opening tee shot. And then also coming in clutch at that same place. This one wasn't marked. We got the TaylorMade RBZ Black, which goes for way more money than I thought. I thought this would go for like $50 or $60, but the RBZ Black is going for like $120. And then the RBZ like regular one, the white one's only going for like $40. And then the, yeah, the Ping G410 is going for about $200 and the uh, Method MOD-30 is also going for about $200. So definitely a uh, good deal there. Yes. And don't be afraid to like go up to uh, pawn shops and negotiate. A lot of people like don't even know that you can negotiate. Mm -hmm. If you watch your videos, obviously you know that because it's like one of our favorite things to do <laughs> is uh, go and negotiate. But it's almost like they don't even care about the price at some points. If it's in there long enough, yeah. like we literally, if we thought that $200 would be a, a good deal and end up getting it for 160 bucks that out happens. the door. I think it's, it's always worth asking, you never yeah, know. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to uh, ask. Oh, nope. you can see the trams are getting ready to uh, line up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Beautiful lots sunset in the background, Lots too. of construction here, lots of construction on the golf course. Things are changing. Things are changing. Including Mickey's ear. Oh, no! <laughs> it's no longer a hidden Mickey. It's hiding in Ashley's stomach. Ow, oh, John, that hurts! <laughs> oh. Tastes so good, though. How did it fall apart by one bite? <laughs> Tastes delicious though. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. The happiest speedway on earth. <laughs> oh man, it's <laughs> lost like half the chocolate. Whoops. You can't trust me with anything. Nope. Bye. For light ice cream, that's pretty good. Uh huh. Bye.